Welcome to Up Late, everyone. I'm Ron Jones. And I'm Natisha Lance. New tonight, a local veteran is outraged after what he says happened when he left his truck at a MARTA station. When he returned, he found a smashed window and shattered glass everywhere. And he also says the truck was not the only one broken into. He also says a thief had a specific target. Hope Ford has a story, and it's all new on Up Late. You know, it, it makes me feel bad. It started as a work trip for Stephen Phillips. He parked his truck at the North Springs MARTA station on Monday, like he's done several other times. But when he returned two days later, his truck wasn't in the same condition. As I was approaching my truck, I could tell that the glass had been broken. The window shattered, a note from MARTA police on the windshield asking Phillips to contact them, and missing from inside his 9 millimeter pistol. And it's not even a monetary thing, it's, it's safety. So now somebody has stolen a gun, you know, with my name on it. Phillips is an Army veteran, and his truck proudly displays this fact. He soon found out from social media at least one other car was broken into around the same time. That car had a license plate tag showing the owner was also a veteran. Phillips believes this is no coincidence. It seems like the thieves are targeting veterans because they assume that as a veteran, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep myself armed. Phillips admits it wasn't the best idea to leave his gun in his truck, although it was hidden in a black bag. It's in my car. It's locked. That You know, that's like an extension of my home. So, yeah, while I probably shouldn't have left it in there, and it, and it wasn't on purpose, you know, it was an accidental, you know, I left it in there. But the fact is... You know, you, you shouldn't be breaking in my car in the first place. He hopes no other weapons were stolen from veterans' vehicles and prays his gun is recovered before it's used to commit a crime. So you never know what they're going to use it for. Yeah, there you go. All right, thanks a lot, Hope Ford. Phillips says that this MARTA station does not have cameras in the parking area, which will make it really difficult to catch this person or whoever did this. Yeah, and we reached out to MARTA police. They haven't confirmed if they have working cameras or if any guns were stolen from other cars.